Glad to see my poster. My name is T.C. Houghton. I'm a scientist in Dr. Brittany Lassane's lab at the University of Alabama at Birmingham. For this project, we explored the metabolic changes in autosomal dominant polycystic kidney disease in a cell type specific manner using a conditional PKD2 knockout mouse model. Autosomal dominant polycystic kidney disease, or ADPKD, is characterized by the development of cysts in the kidneys of the patient that is increased with number and volume with age. The increase in the quantity and size of cysts eventually interfere with normal kidney function and ultimately lead to end-stage kidney disease. Roughly 1 in 1,000 people are affected with ADPKD and is the fourth leading cause of end-stage kidney disease. ADPKD is a multi-system disease, therefore patients can also suffer from hemorrhagic stroke, cardiac arrest, and or complications from severe cystic liver disease. The disease is predominantly caused by mutations in the PKD1 and PKD2 genes which encode for polycysteine 1 and polycysteine 2 respectively. In bulk RNA-seq experiments, ADPKD displays metabolic changes including alternative glucose metabolism similar to the Warburg effect, oxidative phosphorylation, and fatty acid metabolism. Additionally, dietary modifications including caloric restriction has shown to improve symptoms. However, metabolic changes at a single cell resolution have not been thoroughly examined. Here, we use single cell RNA-seq approaches to explore cell-specific metabolic pathway changes in a PKD2 knockout mouse data set. To conduct this experiment, three female conditional knockout mice were induced with tamoxifen at eight weeks of age. Kidney samples were harvested at 16 weeks post-tamoxifen induction along with kidneys from three age-matched control mice. Harvested kidneys were dissociated into single cell suspensions and roughly 5,000 cells were captured from each sample with the 10x genomics chromium controller. The resulting single cell RNA was sequenced using the 10x genomics single cell 3' gem library and gel bead kit version 3.1. Following Illumina sequencing, reads were mapped to the mouse reference MM10 using Cell Ranger. Single cell analysis, such as quality control, filtering, including mitochondrial read ratio threshold of less than 20%, gene expression, cell type cluster annotation, and module scoring were obtained with SCANPI. The batch balanced KNN algorithm was used to integrate the data sets. Gene set enrichment was calculated using GSEAPI. As a result of our analysis, we found 28 clusters and identified them using conserved markers from literature. Each cluster contained approximately an equal number of cells from wild type and PKD2 knockout samples. Once cells were annotated, module scores were calculated by the average expression of a gene set corresponding to glycolysis in figure 4a, oxidative phosphorylation in figure 4b, and fatty acid metabolism in figure 4C subtracted from the average expression of a reference gene set. Gene sets were curated from the mouse genome informatics database. As you can see, we found no significant difference in the module scores overall. We also checked individual cell type clusters and found no significant differences. We then performed gene set enrichment analysis on the cell clusters. In figure 5, we report the enriched pathways for collecting duct principal cells that include extracellular matrix organization and immune responses which is congruent with previously reported responses to ADPKD in bulk RNA-seq. Other cell types showed similar results but were not shown due to space limitations. There were no go-term gene sets corresponding to metabolic pathways enriched in this data set. Thank you.